John Stone, the DIY smart home guy. I'm here in Japan, stuck at the airport, so I thought it'd be a good time to look around and see if I can't find anything smart. Since I spend a lot of time in airports, it's always fun to poke around and see what I can find. Japan, being one of the electronic centers of the world, should have something to offer. So let's go cruise through the airport and see what we can come up with. Stop everything. We have found sumo wrestling. This is like American football over here in Japan. Can you imagine having a front row seat to this? Those cheeks coming at you up close and personal. All right, enough of that. Let's get back on the move. So you'd never guess what I found by gate 90 at the Narita Airport. It's the Pepper Robot. Pepper, do you speak English? Do you speak English, Pepper? Right now it's getting pretty clear that Pepper does not speak English. Well, now that we got Pepper's attention, let's take a look around. Pepper is an emotional response robot. It runs on an Android OS, and that's an Android tablet on the front. Uh, its the whole design is to change your mood. It listens to you, looks at you, and those lasers in its eyes actually monitor your facial expressions to try to determine how to respond. I'm not sure, but I think that Pepper just cussed me out and said, hey, dummy. I'm a demo model. If you want to talk to me, you learn how to read Japanese or find somebody that can put me into English mode. So that's exactly what I did. Found these two lovely ladies to help me out and they put her into English mode and then the fun began. Hey, have you seen any animals today? Thank you. <laughs> I have not. Really? I don't get to see many animals. <laughs> what animals did you see? I saw a robot. Oh wow. I have never seen one of those. But that you sounds awesome. You Do are you have a robot. Any animals that you could show me? Do you want me to show you a dog? No. Wait, don't show me. I'll get too excited. Thanks for talking to me about animals. A chew. Bless you. Thank you. You should do one. Go for it. Do a nice big sneeze. Knock knock. Okay, maybe you can sneeze later then. I love sneezing with you. So probably not a fair analysis, but I don't think I enjoyed talking to the Pepper robot as much as I like my Alexa. Certainly did not have as good a grasp of the language that I would have expected or the expressions that I was stating. But that could have been just because this is a demo model and I was in Japan. That was kind of fun, I do got to admit. Walking around has made me thirsty. Let's go inside the miso kitchen and get ourselves a beer. <laughs> Clearly not the only one with that idea. Change of plan. Let's go to Japan Airlines first class lounge and see what they got. Ching ching a beer machine. This thing dispenses beer and actually fills your glass with a proper head. We're going to tilt that glass back, put it into the proper pour. I'd say that this is a smart home device, even though it's not labeled as one. That's pretty darn smart. Peeking out the window, there's a brand new Boeing 787. One of the most amazing things about this airplane, I don't know how well it comes through in the video, but look how high up that wing tip gets. And when you're in flight, that thing stretches actually above the fuselage. It's amazing to see. I'll try and get a picture of one when I'm flying next time. Well, that's it for today. DIY Smart Home Guy. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you again soon. Cheers and take care.